I was um, in between meetings and got a phone call from the school. It's been four months. He's seven years old. Seven years old, my son. And they called me to tell me that they had to restrain him in handcuffs. Since Brandon Pryor's son in second grade was put in handcuffs at Florida Pitt Waller School. At one point, the security guard was behind him and had him by both arms and pulling them back. When we first did the story, we asked Denver Public Schools how many other students they put in handcuffs. 58 since 2017 seemed high. He apologizes for everything now. But no one realized there were even more kids in handcuffs than Denver Public Schools reported at the time. There's absolutely opportunity for us to do better. This yeah. week, the Chief of Department of Safety for DPS admitted many more, 155, almost triple. When we found that there was a discrepancy, we didn't hide behind it. We reported it, we own it, and we're sharing it. Wow, these are pages and pages. I see some eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds. Of the 155 students, two were seven-year-olds, three were eight, 12 were nine, and the age group most frequently being handcuffed at DPS, 12. And to sit there and go through each report to determine whether or not a student was handcuffed and why, takes a lot of time. Time, because there is no checkbox for handcuffed cases, which is why they underreported. They've had to read through incident reports case by case to get an accurate count. But we did it. And that's how we got to the 155 number, and that's where we felt we need to be transparent. Moving forward, DPS will record every time a student is handcuffed. And I'm looking, and the majority of these students are, are black students. Hispanic students make up the largest part of the district and the second largest group being handcuffed. White students were handcuffed 21% of the time. My son in particular, he's questioned um, whether or not he's a good kid. The lasting impact of a child in handcuffs. He apologizes for everything now. So that, that breaks my heart. Is why Brandon and his family want change. We shouldn't criminalize our kids for being kids. In the four months since the handcuffing, Brandon's family lobbied the district to limit the practice in elementary schools. Everybody thought it was a done deal and ready to celebrate when we got handcuffs, you know, uh, removed from the elementary schools. Now he sees a need for more change. But obviously there's still a problem um, for our high school students and especially our middle school students. For Nine News, I'm Sonia Gutierrez.